You ever watch Game of Thrones? I've watched Game of Thrones. You ever played Dark Souls? I've played Dark Souls. You ever wonder, what if both? What if both? What if both? Because there was a, a trailer <laughs> that came out, Elden Ring. Yeah, as part of Sony's State of Play. The makers of Dark Souls collaborating with George Railroad Martin. Yeah, from software. From software and George R. R. Martin with, are with, collaborating yeah. to make Eden Ring. Elden. Elden Ring. We, and, we've, so we've known this game was coming. Yeah. It was announced as a title card. Mm-hmm. And I think they had like... Just some animation of a hand mm-hmm. with a ring on it. I guess. And it, was, it was something goofy last year. So we knew. Mm-hmm. But most of us were like, ha, he never finishes anything. So nobody expected it to actually come out. Right. I think he just wanted, they finished this. The dope trailer. <laughs> yeah, the trailer's dope. I mean, uh, we're not going to play the whole thing or play it at all. I don't know. But oh. We're not going to, definitely not going to play the whole thing. Just look it up. Elden Ring trailer. Yeah. If, on, if it's here, it's here. On, look it up on Vivo. <laughs> They're not gonna copyright strike us. They want for the promotion. I'm just, I'm just playing. Yeah. Come on. But anyway, but it looks sweet. It looks, really it looks cool. like a Dark Souls game, straight up. But they have just, it's like they took Bloodborne, they kind of Dark Soulsified it with like the night themes, mm-hmm. and they just have a lot of. It almost reminds me of like some of those weird places in The Witcher. Kind of. Yeah. Like with like the hanging heads and like just the weird abominations that like. I mean that's very Dark Souls. Yes, it very is very Dark Souls. I don't know. It looks. I look. It's like Dark Souls one if they put a lot more color in it, mm. which is one of my biggest gripes because the three did it a lot better, but the older games kind of mute. Gray and brown. Yeah, kind of. As far bland. as the eye can see. That's why I like Bloodborne. Yeah, a lot of blue. But oh, we get we get a third color in this game. Yeah. Well, watch out. We get three colors. But okay, so <laughs> the thing that weirds me out about this one is, From Software is a Japanese studio. Mm-hmm. They had to have reached out to old Captain Railroad mm-hmm. and been like, "Hey, we like them dragons. Yeah. What if you wrote our game? Yeah. How about them like, dragons? Sure. I don't want to write this book anyway. Yeah. That's the whole thing. <laughs> George R. R. Martin was sitting there looking at his manuscript for you know whatever game or Winds Song of, of Ice Winter, and Fire. Is that yeah. The new one. And he's just looking like I really don't want to write this. <laughs> and he's just procrastinating with this game. He's like, forget oh. it. This will be in my memoir. You mean to tell me I don't have to write this book and I can still get paid? (laughs) Run it. Come on, say less. (laughs) I do wonder how it's going to turn out. It comes out, I think, January? Mm -hmm. It's very a lot earlier than I was expecting. Yeah. I think. I might be wrong. You will know. You'll know. I'm excited. I'm excited to see more of it. I'm, you know, disclaimer, not the biggest Souls guy. No, no, no. Not really. I would like to be. I love those games aesthetically. I'm Mm -hmm. just... uh, I'm not good. Yeah, we're see. We're fil- I think we're in the same place. We're filthy casuals, <laughs> and when it comes to like playing games, I like to play a game for the experience. Like I don't mind a little bit of a challenge, mm-hmm. but I don't want to get stuck having to you know look up tutorials or yeah. just you know practice the same fight like thirty times. It's not a fighting game. You, well, you it's a battle. Just... It's a battle. Excuse me. No, no, no. But I mean, like in fighting games, you know, you go to the lab. And yeah. you, like test your combos. I don't want to have to do that for an action game. Yeah, I mean maybe it's like two or three action. times if it's like particularly difficult. But like I like Mega Man and Zelda, mm-hmm. where like yes they can be challenging, but they have like is when you figure out the pattern. Yeah, you can get there. Yeah, and Dark Souls and little... some games that I've that I've played, mm-hmm. I feel like they kind of switch up the pattern on you a little bit, which is fine. Yeah, even in Mega Man they switch up the pattern I don't after want it you get below like... a certain health perfectly memorizable i just mm-hmm. the the idea with those games as far as like just the unfairness mm-hmm. and the vagueness yeah, yeah when i get an item and it doesn't tell me what it does i have to look it up online that sucks yeah, yeah. it just adds an extra step all right it's like what am i doing here so tell I me get it. if you're hardcore have you played any of the soul series games like i played it? bloodborne when i got my playstation 4 you do just like boot it up play it and that was it yeah wow how far did you get not very far mm. yeah and and most of it was just like I was getting home after a hard days of work, and like I wanted to play a cool like swing sword and cast spells video game. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, I've got homework to do. Like I gotta hone my skills. Mm-hmm. It's like no, I just want to cut heads off and throw magic around. And so I I started playing Skyrim again. Nice. <laughs> like, that's the thing. It's like okay, I get, and don't get me wrong. I'm not deriding anybody who no. likes that. Not at all. If that's your jam, man, take it and make a sandwich out of it. But it's not my jam. 
So it won't be. It won't I, be. I have somewhat of a similar story. I was very excited for Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. I had not played this old game, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy Bloodborne. And it was my birthday. Mm-hmm. I bought Bloodborne, and I bought a handle of Fireball. Oh, my goodness. And me and the person I was with at the time decided, every time I die, we'll take shots. Okay, so you went to bed pretty early that yeah, day, Yeah, huh? I about had alcohol poisoning. <laughs> I made it all the way to the Cleric Beasts, and he, the Cleric Beast just, which is like the first boss on that bridge. Yeah, yeah. He was just like, what up, you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a game to be drinking while you're playing. <laughs> I took inspiration from YouTube, and those people knew how to play the game. Yeah. So, but I, it was a good time. So now I you just, think of Bloodborne, and you get a little A little bit of a hangover, <laughs> yeah. I, and I didn't go back to it just because of that, because I was like, by the time I got up, I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So, I mean, maybe one day. Mm-hmm. I Like, I really would love to be able to enjoy those games. Mm-hmm. But maybe one day. Yeah. Uh, we'll get good. And, I, you know, what my, What I hope for Elden Ring is that it's a little challenging, but I can just sit and play it. Yeah, that'd you be know? nice. If it, I don't want baby mode. Yeah. I no, want no, it no, to no. be fair. Yeah. That's that's one of the, the my biggest complaint about those games is they just do things that are straight up unfair. Mm-hmm. If you just walk around a corner and there's just suddenly a dude there that's gonna kill you, the only way to not die is to walk there and instantly back up because you know he's already there. Yeah, yeah. That's not fair. Right. And they they really. It's like there's no way they, to avoid death unless unless you've already died before at that yeah. spot. It sucks. It's like, bro, come on. Yeah. yeah. That and the idea that you put a treasure chest in your game that I open it and it kills me. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Treasure chests are supposed to be safe. Yeah. No, 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 no. And what kills me is like George R. R. Martin. He is the king of that kind of stuff. Nothing is safe. Oh, no. So I feel I like it's not going to be that. a fair game. You're going to be like a third of the way into the game and he just kills your character. Old, you know, Aerith style. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sephiroth himself comes down yeah. and just like katana through your chest. <laughs> no, man, I could see something like that happening for sure. Mm-hmm. I wonder, so if you pick up a writer like that, how in-depth is that story going to be? Because most of the time with those Souls games, the story kind of, it's a lot of atmosphere and a lot of like storytelling through other means. There's no direct storytelling. Well, I imagine they collaborated and they probably had their general premise Mm -hmm. and they just got him to kind of fill in some details. I don't think he came up with a whole original story for them. I really don't think so, no. Mm. I feel like they had their sort of map, like a vague road map. Yeah. You know, we got to put the Elden Ring together to be the chosen one. You know, they, they have their like MacGuffin. Elden, they said Elden Ring in that trailer like six times. I mean, that's the thing. That's the name of the thing. <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they got to have it in there. So you forget mm-hmm. we're talking about Elden Ring, folks, not yeah. Dark Souls. No. Mm-hmm. Not Lord of the Rings. No. Not Elden. Blood Rings or Lord Blood Blood or Ring. Right. Ring Blood. One ring to rule them all. Mm-hmm. No, this is the Elden Ring. It's totally, it's a whole totally different thing. Yeah. <laughs> How long till I blow up and everybody show love? How long until I'm laughing at my critics like told ya? How long till I grow up? Stop drinking till I throw up. How long until the devil come to collect on what I sold him? What actually happens when you drown genius in acid? Would my baby mama say if I make a million off this rapping? What would the friends I made in the Navy say if they heard CS2 snapping? What would the man inside the mirror say if he ever caught me?